In this demonstration, we're just going to continue with some more stress testing of what we were working on earlier. So we're going to drop our file again now. And this time, we're going to deny it instead of approve it. So we drop it in Map Demo In. BizTalk picks it up. A few seconds later, it should go to the Needs Approval directory, Needs Approval Out directory, which it did. I can then open it with my whatever editor I want to use for XML. And again, I'll take a date time from here. I'll stick it up here. And it's about uh, 642. And status is going to be denied. And user ID is me. And that's, oh, deny all reason is. Uh, Why would a manager not approve this? Uh, credit rating. Obviously, you'd have BizTalk check the credit rating. You wouldn't have to have a person check it. But credit rating, maybe maybe done in Bradstreet. So maybe someone had to go. You didn't have an automated interface to done in Bradstreet uh, system. So a human had to go look up their credit rating, and their credit rating uh, ha was terrible. OK. So we save that. Close our utility here. Uh, delete the backup file, which my editor made. And again, we can cut and paste this file to the approval in directory. And the only thing we might want to see now is what does it look like from over here. So if we look at the orchestration debugger for 642, okay, so we're going to follow down the logic. It says check manager's approval. So actually, if we go back up here, um, you notice at this point, when I hit the down arrow, it actually jumps and it skips a couple of sections here. So in other words, it did not send to our PO system because he denied it. And it did not actually set the approved flag here. It actually would have gone down this shape here. So we could have, we could have put a trace shape here just so we would get a trace message. So we can also look at this with our own little trace utility that we've created. Go to the trace file here and uh, make sure we're getting the most recent one date time wise. So 8 f sort descending, 1843. Look at this. And just find the word uh, TRC, for instance. There's trace 1000. Let's try that again. TRC. There's trace 1500, hello world. Trace 2000, the PO was over 1000. Trace 2040, and then the next one is Trace 2050, received PO. And then here you can see exactly what I typed in. In Walters, denied, and the reason was credit rating was terrible. And then the next trace, basically the orchestration ended because we decided to throw away this uh, bad purchase order. OK, so that's a nice demo. Now, let's actually submit two or three files at the same time. But in keeping with our uh, concept here, these files are going to have to have different uh, PO numbers and or date times. So I'm going to call this instance 1, B, and C. And so we're going to edit these files. Let's see here. I'm going to open with Stylus Studio just so you can see how that works again. So now I'm going to force kind of an interesting test. I'm going to go to the demo in and I'm actually going to copy the same message twice. Okay. So both files went into the system. If I go to hat over here, we're now looking at 659 and following. And you can see there's two orchestrations started. In other words, they're both trying to wait for approval of this file. And so now the manager comes along and says, oh, I need to look at my approvals. So he says, OK, I'm going to approve this one. So he, I'm going to actually skip opening it and changing it. We don't actually have to do that. So he's going to cut the first file, and he's going to go paste it in the approval in directory. And then the file gets picked up, 
we go back to hat and we run the query again and now kind of an oddball thing has happened so from 659 forward we had two orchestrations that were paused and now notice that they both finished and the reason for that is they both had the same correlation parameters they were both waiting for a PO called ABC123 at the exact same that had the same PO date time in there so instead of bombing and saying hey I can't send the same file to two orchestrations BizTalk is a publish subscribe model he says well basically I have two subscribers so he sent the same message to both orchestrations so both orchestrations then received the exact same message and did the same thing okay now the manager comes along and says oh now I need to approve this one so he cuts it and he's gonna come over here and paste it and can you guess what's gonna happen well there's no orchestrations waiting for that message right now so if I do a run query here you see that at uh, 701 we received a file from our manager and there's an error so if we zoom in message flow and read that error it tells us that um, this is kind of the generic message that says hey I didn't have any subscribers for this message why are people sending me messages when nobody's subscribed to them and so the reason for this error is that a minute ago we actually closed both of our orchestrations by dropping the first file and now there's no orchestrations running waiting for the second file so the moral of this story is if you don't have your your variables unique that you're using to correlate on you're gonna get some real spooky errors here and it's gonna make your debugging I would say very difficult the other moral of the story is even when you're on your development system you need to test for oddball things like this you need to try submitting the same file with same parameters and that type of thing or submit a hundred files at a time and kind of stress test your system and your logic so that concludes this demonstration on correlation